Good evening. Yahweh in the Old Testament is characterized as having kesed we emet in Hebrew. Loving, mercy, and faithfulness. That's what characterizes him. If you look at the Old Testament in general. And that's why in the first reading, Daniel says, Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandment. Loving mercy and faithfulness describes the God, the Father of Jesus Christ. Daniel also says, O Lord our God, yours are compassion and forgiveness. That's why in, in this time of Lent, we come again to the Lord because we rebelled against Him and we promise to live according to His commandments. In the Psalms, we pray that the compassion of Yahweh quickly come to us and He should not deal with us according to our sins. Kung tatapatan niya yung laki ng ating mga kasalanan, wala nang mabubuhay sa mundong ito. And in the Gospel, Jesus said to His disciples, Be merciful just as your Heavenly Father is merciful. In other translations, it is be compassionate as your Heavenly Father is compassionate. So if we are made into the image and likeness of God, we should judge ourselves by our compassion. Not by our intelligence, not by our influence, not by our possessions and power, by our compassion. We become closer to God, the more compassionate we are. So in, as I said, in other translations, it is be compassionate as your Heavenly Father is compassionate. We mold ourselves into the image and likeness of God who is loving, mercy, and faithfulness, who is compassionate. And so, what I'm trying to say also today is that grace builds on nature. In the Tosan Tayo, pero may foundation na yan. Yun ang ibig kong sabihin. To connect to be related, to feel with others. Because even before we know who we are, we are connected already. Mas primordial, mas pangunahin ang pagkakaugnay, pakikiramay. Sa conception, when you were conceived, andyan na agad, you are already rooted in your ancestors. Yung XY chromosome mo, galing sa tatay at sa kananay mo. Pag nag-divide na yung cells, didikit ka doon sa uterus. Yung kinakain ng nanay mo, yung kinakain mo rin. Nagsisynchronize daw ang heartbeat noong bata at saka yung nanay. Napagkatapos niyan, pag sinilang ka, bibigyan ka nila ng pangalan, hindi ikaw ang pipili ng mga lalo. You are already connected. Even before you know who you are. And then you enter into a culture, your meanings and values will be shaped by this collective pattern of thinking. So in neuroscience, the scientists, neuroscientists are saying that our brains, yung nature natin, Likas na sa atin yung maging compassionate. Our brains are wired to connect with other people. Sabi ni Lieberman, we are wired to be social. We are driven by deep motivations to stay connected with friends and family. We are naturally curious about what is going on in the minds of other people. 
Kaya maraming marites, may marikon, may marikor. Eh, gusto natin malaman kung anong iniisip nyo iba. Our need to reach out to and connect with other human beings is so powerful. It is the primary driver of our behavior. We are profoundly social creatures. Natural sa atin sana ang magiging compassionate. Sabi rin ni Stephen Quartz, Studies of our biological constitution make it increasingly clear that we are social creatures of meaning who crave a sense of coherence and purpose within a community. No man is an island. No human being is an island. Kaya mahirap itong 500 years of Christianity nga, pero nabago din ating pag-iisip. Naging individualistic. Our brains are created to connect, but sabi ni Stephen Quartz, kaunti lang chance natin na magkoconnect ngayon to engage in the group life that satisfies our human needs. Kaya mali ang ating pagtingin kung susunod tayo doon sa western, yung makakanluran na tingin, hindi na malapit, malayo na yan sa tinuturo ni Kristo na be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate dahil ang turo sa western na namana ng marami sa atin, I am the master of my faith, I am the captain of my soul. So, anong tingin natin sa happiness? Our happiness is the private pursuit of self actualization. Hindi iyong magiging ganap ka sa pagkikitungo sa iba. Kaya sabi ni Jerome Frank, the, individ the individual is seen as the center of his moral universe and concern for others is believed to follow from his own self-realization. Unahin mo muna yung sarili mo. Mag-self-realize ka muna. Tsaka ka lang titingin doon sa iba. Ang turo ni Jesus, nag-self-realize ka kung ibibigay mo yung sarili mo sa iba. It is in giving that we receive. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. And so, we have to be compassionate just as the Heavenly Father is compassionate. Kaya sabi ni Albert Einstein, our task is to free ourselves from our prison, being imprisoned in a thinking that is I, me, mine. Lagi nila ako. Sabi ni Einstein, we have to widen our circle of compassion to embrace all humanity and the whole of nature in its beauty. Si Einstein na yan. Hindi na nga tayo sa Bible na ngumuha. So, we have to examine our conscience during this Lent. Anong pagtingin ko sa aking sarili? How do I fulfill my humanity? I am the master of my faith. I am the captain of my soul. Or be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate. Ang lalim na tanong. Hinihimok tayo. Inaanyayahan tayo ngayong panahon ng kwaresma, mga mahal na araw, natitignan. Ano ba yung aking pagtingin sa aking sarili that drives my behavior? Self-actualization? Yung ako lang? I, me, mine? O be compassionate as your heavenly father is compassionate? So dito makikita na mahirap maging compassionate. Mahirap magiging kalarawan at kawangis ng maawaing Diyos. Kasi sabi ni St. John, mayroong the world, the flesh, and the devil. The world wants you to be self-actualized. Yung ikaw lang. Tingnan mo yung materialism ng world. Kasama pa dyan, the world, the flesh, was mahina din tayo. Kahit na our brains are wired for compassion, makasarili din tayo. May kasalanang mana tayo. Tapos yung devil, nagsasapit eh. 
Sambahin mo ako. Bibigay ko sa iyo yung lahat ng kaharian dito sa mundo. So let us pray during this Mass for self-knowledge to understand why we behave this way. Bakit tayo makasarili? Bakit hindi natin inaalintana yung pangangailangan na iba? Tingnan nyo lang yung mayayaman. Kahit gagasta ng 1 million pesos a day, hindi maubos yung kanilang yaman. Bilyonaryo na eh. Pero nagpapakamatay pa rin. Hanggang tumanda, naka-wheelchair na, nakikialam pa rin sa kanyang business para yayaman siya ng yayaman. The world, the flesh, and the devil ang nagsasabi niya. Will you fulfill yourself by having a mountain of gold? By having a ship full of pearls, kagaya ng sinabi ng kanta? So we are being asked at the core of our humanity how we should behave. Tapos sinasabihan tayo sa Evangelia. Be compassionate as your Heavenly Father is compassionate pero magkasalanan tayo, hindi natin nagagawa kaya magsisisi tayo ngayong mahal na araw at sa bawat pagkakamali natin, sa bawat pagkakataon na nagiging makasarili tayo, hindi natin sinunod yung magiging kawangis at kalara- kalarawan ng maawaing Diyos. Let us repent of our sins and pray for the grace of the Holy Spirit as we receive the body and blood of Christ that we will be, this, we will be given the strength to conquer our selfishness, follow our, the program in our brain to relate, to compassionate, to be compassionate, to empathize with others. And in that way, we will be fulfilled. Yung mga Pilipino, nung araw, ganyan eh. Pamilya ang nauna sa ganila eh. Nagsasakripisyo sila para sa pamilya. Pumupunta ng Saudi, minsan nahihirapan doon para mapaaral yung kanya mga kapatid. Nakalimutan niyang kanyang sarili. Pero yun ang sinasabi ng Panginoon. That's what we pray for during this Mass. To understand that it is in giving that we receive. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life.